Guys, how would you like to know how to pick a winner? There's eight things you need to follow. Stay tuned, it's coming up. What's up guys, Dino here. Welcome back to my racing channel. Uh, today, uh, we're going to look at eight things that you'll need to look at to have every chance of picking a winner. And we're going to start off with uh, number eight, which is going to be the betting. What price your horse is. Um, number seven is going to be the trainer, who the trainer is. Number six is going to be your jockey. Number five is going to be the course that it's getting, the race is getting run at. Number four is going to be the distance. Number three is the form of the horse. Number two is the weight of the horse. And the most important thing is the ground on what your horse is going to be running on. There are the eight things that you're going to need when you're picking your horses. So when you get your race card or when you're going on the internet or if you're looking in the newspaper, the first thing you need to look at is the ground and what the ground is. That's the most important thing to the horse is the ground. Because if there's a, ground, a horse that want to run on soft ground and the ground is all of a sudden ch changed overnight to good to firm yes you will get horses that will run on any ground but the majority of horses will, will like a ground that they like to run on whether it be good ground good to firm ground soft ground heavy ground yielding ground so that's the first thing when you open your newspaper to go and pick your horses or when you go online to pick your horses, check what the going is, which is the ground. That's the first thing. You then go and check, obviously you need to pick your horse. And the way to pick your horse is, you need to check every horse and check its weight. So you'll need to check its weight. After that, you'll need to check the form of the horses. So they're the three main things out of the eight, the ground, the weight of the horse, and the form. And once you've done that, in amongst while you're doing that, you would be checking the distance on which the horses are running over. So if it's a six furlong race, or a seven furlong race, or a mile and four furlongs, you need to pick out the horses that have ran these races over six furlongs, or possibly five, or maybe seven. So you need to look at the distance as well. The course, the course matters to some horses, as I've said in other videos, horses for courses. There's some horses, very little, but there's some horses that will run really well for you, for instance, at Epsom. But then they'll run in a similar race at Newmarket and not run very well. And it's, it's just one of these things. But they're very rare when that happens. But it does happen. After the course, you've then got the jockey and the trainer. And then last of all, you check out what the price of the horse is. But the most important thing is the ground for the horse. That's the first thing you check. When you open your newspaper or go on the internet, what the ground is. Then check the weight and the form and the distance, which will probably take you guys, you know, 20, 25 minutes to check into all those uh, factors, the weight, the form and the distance. Then you can check the course. But again, it's... As I've said, it's very, very rare that you'll get a horse that'll only be able to run on Epsom 
or only be able to run at Ascot. 95% of horses will run in any track. Then you've got the jockey and the trainer. Then you've got what price your horse is. All right. So again, it's just a short little video. Um, but it's one of these videos that you can just add to what you have learned already. And out of the eight things to pick a winner, we've went through them in videos. So I'm just sort of putting it all together now. When you open your paper or do it on the internet, it's the ground. Check the ground first. Then start picking your horse with its weight, the form and the distance. By that time you'll have a good idea what horse you want to pick because you would have probably narrowed it down to two or three by then. Then you would look at the jockey and the trainer and then the price of the horse. So there are your eight things that you'll need if you want to begin start winning races and having winners. All right, so it's just a short little video. Um, again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, keep hitting that subscribe button. Keep hitting the little bell. And to any viewers, because I know there's a lot of viewers out there that are looking at the videos, because um, I'm getting a lot of likes. Um, and as I say, Give that wee subscribe button a wee press and press that little bell. It's good information that's that I'm giving out um, and it's honest information. So yeah, thank you to all, as I've said, to all the American uh, people out there and all the people in the UK. You guys are doing a great job. You're keeping the channel going um, and you're viewing a lot of the videos. Um, we just need to keep building momentum and building the channel up, getting a little bit more subscribers. So yeah, there'll be more videos on the way. Um, and as I say, they'll keep on enjoying this. Love doing it. So yeah, back to the video. That's your eight. Your number one's the ground. Your number two's the weight. Your number three's the form. Your number four's the distance. Your number five's the course. Your number six's the jockey. Your number seven's the trainer. And your number eight's the betting. Alright, hope you've enjoyed the video, hit the buttons, keep viewing, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.